Hey guys, hey, welcome to another episode of a film life vlog. Hey, I'm so glad you guys joined me. So this is gonna be a really quick video. Some of you have asked me in the past to show how I clean cameras when I get cameras from the thrift store. So for this video, I have a camera here, which is the Pentax camera SLO. Pentax is the Program Plus camera. I got this recently um, from the thrift store and as you can see it's it's actually quite dirty and in this video I'm gonna show you how I clean my cameras to make sure that they're nice and presentable then they can go in there in my collection in the back there now if you're planning to do this work you don't need much all you really need are two things the first is a Lysol disinfectant wipes like the one I have here but because these film cameras are coming from people's basements from their garage from strange places sometimes these cameras have not been um, handled for a long time they've been just been accumulating dirt and all kinds of grime um, it's good because this not only cleans it also disinfects and that's why I use this but the thing is that you can only use this for the body of your um, of the camera and also for the sides of the lenses you make sure that this doesn't go on the glass itself because it could actually affect the coating on your lens so take note of that and the other thing that you need is a microfiber cloth I have a microfiber cloth here they come in different types different shapes different colors but just a small microfiber cloth will do. So I'm just gonna take a few pieces of this. Um, just not too much really, just about this much will do. One thing I'm gonna caution you against doing is taking off the lens because you really don't wanna make a mistake and get this uh, on the mirror or the system in there. So it's, it's quite important that you keep the lens on. Just be careful not to get your liquid on on the glass itself so I'm gonna start from the lens itself just give it a nice generous helping on the outside of the lens okay and I'll work my way to the back of the camera make sure that your camera is in the lock position I just turned this into the lock position I had actually forgotten that and just give it a nice generous cleaning. Don't be too aggressive when you're wiping this off. And because the camera is in the lock position, there's no danger of uh, this actually uh, firing, which is good. It's not a lot of liquid, so there's no real damage. There's no real danger of, uh, of this seeping into the uh, into the little openings and getting into the electronics of this camera okay so I just pull back the advanced lever over here and just got under it also try to uh, wipe along uh, and underneath that lever get around the uh, viewfinder and the other thing is I'm trying to avoid the glass on the viewfinder as well. So that's also important to note. There's still quite a bit of liquid here in this, so I'll just keep on giving it a nice, generous, gentle scrub like that. Okay, now I can tell that it's, it's to the point where I can start using the microfiber cloth. I'm gonna give uh, this flash unit some cleaning as well. Now I'm gonna grab my microfiber cloth and give it a nice generous wipe. Just gentle, be gentle. It may look like I'm being aggressive but I'm actually being careful here. Go around the little crevices. After I'm done this, I'll focus on the glass and go around the film advance lever with the tip 
like that. I can already tell that this is looking pretty good. It's starting to look really good. And I think I missed a spot right over here. So I'm just gonna go underneath this little, as the lens um, remover lever or whatever it's called. I missed the spot just underneath that lever. So I'm going back with this to give it a little scrap. Then I'm gonna go in with a microfiber cloth and get in there. Okay, I'm taking a good look at this and yeah. So just giving it a nice scrub. I think I missed another spot just along this uh, edge over here. So let's give it a nice scrub in and wipe it off gently. Wipe off the flash unit. It's disinfected nicely. Okay. This is looking very nice actually. It looks <laughs> like new actually. Okay, it's looking pretty good guys. It's looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna uh, use a dry portion of this microfiber cloth uh, to gently clean the lens, just around the lens, not the glass itself. It's recommended that you use proper um, cleaning cloth or a cleaning, it's like a lint material, it's a lens paper, I think that's what they call it, to clean the lens itself. But, you know, sometimes just a gentle uh, cleaning with the microfiber cloth just works also. As long as the cloth is dry and and doesn't have any chemicals on it, I think it works pretty good, as you can see. Okay. Wow. Now that actually looks pretty nice. I think I missed a spot, a tiny spot. I think I missed a tiny spot right there. So I'm just gonna wet it up slightly and clean it. And that looks really good. That looks really good. Now what I'm gonna do now is just take off the flash unit now. And I'm gonna the contacts, I'm always a little worried um, cleaning the contacts, so I'm not really letting it touch. Not that it will matter, I don't think it will make any difference, but still, I don't want any problems with my cameras. So I just gently wipe around it, use the dry cloth to clean around it. Be very gentle on this part here. And you get the idea, guys. Now, look at this beauty, guys. Look at that. That looks very, very nice. Look at that. That looks really nice. Like in mint condition. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Beautiful camera. Hey, so guys, I hope that you found this useful. Um, just look how beautiful this camera is looking now. Just look how lovely this camera looks. It pretty much looks like new, you know? Look at that, just beautiful. Right? Just lovely. Now, if you want your cameras to look up, uh, 
just as good as this or the cameras that I have in the back. It really starts from the selection process. And there's a video that I did on tips that you should um, be mindful of when uh, buying cameras from thrift stores. And I'll put a, a link to that video right up there. You can add it to your, um, your playlist. But the point of that video was really saying that it, it really starts with um, how you select your cameras. In order to get good looking cameras uh, as an end product, it really starts when you get to the thrift store. Uh, just make sure you're, you're thinking ahead uh, when you're selecting your cameras. And the way I do it is I just look past the, the dirt and the grime. One thing I really avoid though is fungus. If I see fungus on the camera, I just don't get it. I, Cause I don't wanna bring uh, fungus infected cameras into my collection here and in infect my other cameras here. And I also try um, not to uh, get defective cameras as much as possible. Uh, all the cameras that I get, I tend to get cameras that actually work. And that's my primary goal because I actually shoot with my cameras. I don't just collect them. So uh, make sure you get cameras that work. Make sure you look past the grime. If it's just dirt, if it's just surfaced deep, it's good enough. You can clean it up. But if it's fungus, guys, just run. If it's a defective camera, it depends on how defective it is. But if it's something that will affect the functionality of the camera, I would avoid it. Usually I would go for a camera that I know is actually in a good shape. I mean, it, is, it may not be perfect, but it should be in a good shape. If you look at this camera, there's a tiny little nick right there, a rust uh, patch right there. I mean, I was willing to look past it because this camera is actually in pretty excellent shape other than that, right? And it doesn't affect the fun functionality of the camera. Every part of this camera uh, is in pretty decent shape. So I could really look past that little cos cosmetic uh, defect right there. So um, if it's a small thing, it's not a big deal. But if it's anything that will affect your viewing through the viewfinder, or that will act to actually affect the, op the optics, if it's anything to do with the lens, specifically just the lens, um, that would be a decision that you have to make because I have extra lenses I would be willing to look past that because I could just pretty much uh, discard of the lens or or maybe see if I can remedy it however um, if it has to do with the glass okay if it has to do with the glass on the inside if you if there's fungus or any sort of grime on the inside, um, that's gonna be a tough one, guys. I would not recommend getting a camera that has any like major issues with um, with the mirror on the inside, okay? So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you guys have fun uh, going to the thrift stores and hunting for cameras. And uh, if you did like this video, why don't you leave this video a like? And if you haven't subscribed, by all means, do subscribe to this channel. And I hope you have a wonderful day and stay safe.